Histamine intolerance is not actually a sensitivity to histamine, but more so that there is too much histamine in your body. The histamine released is responsible for some major functions, including your immune response and in triggering the release of stomach acid to aid digestion. However, some people have too much histamine due to an intake of food or too much production as a result of the immune system overreacting. One of the main enzymes in our body which breaks down histamine is called diamine oxidase, often referred to as DAO. Sometimes we may not have enough DAO in our body and this could be because of things such as medication, illness or genetic predispositions. It could also be that the amount of histamine we are ingesting in our food is too high for our body to detox, meaning there isn't enough DAO to break down and remove the histamine being taken in or even being produced by our bodies. When this happens and there is too much histamine in our body, this can lead to and trigger symptoms such as bloating, acid reflux, food allergies, diarrhea, irregular menstrual cycles, blocked sinuses, and those symptoms associated with allergic reactions. Too much histamine can also cause skin conditions such as itching, hives, eczema, and rashes. Often, people are misdiagnosed as having IBS because of the similar symptoms. For anyone who already has too much histamine in their body or has reduced DAO activity, even the smallest amount of food with histamine can cause the symptoms. There are some foods which are high in histamine, which can be avoided, whilst others can trigger histamine release in the body. These foods could be avoided in order to help with histamine intolerance, but the problem is that you then deprive yourself of a lot of these foods, which are actually healthy foods and good for you in other ways. Some examples of the foods that are high in histamine or trigger histamine release are avocados, dried foods, spinach, alcohol and other fermented drinks, processed or smoked meats, beans, papaya and chocolate. A low histamine diet may help ease symptoms, but can be challenging in the long term. As such, it is best to target the root cause, removing excess histamine and thus relieving the burden on your body. This brings histamine into manageable levels, allowing it to do what it does best naturally.